Now, in a situation like this, you're selling your mum's property. It's not a place that you're actually living in. And then it comes time to, we've got a buyer, but we've got to go through an inspection process. And unfortunately, sometimes things come up. And I understand some things come up that involved some negotiation. And in some cases, it, the sale may, to, may have fallen through. How do you think Ethan helped keep the sale on track and help both you and the buyer achieve a win-win situation? We had an initial conversation where he, the buyer had some questions that were probably a little bit more intimate with the property that I could perhaps discuss a little bit better with him than what Ethan would not knowing the property. And they did that. And then there were some questions that came up that I felt were more Ethan's with regard to talking about pricing and things like that. So I just left that to Ethan and he was, again, in, in contact with me within a minute of these phone calls and things like that just to make sure that everything was going on track and that, and, and to double check with me what I had actually said so that he didn't then go back to the buyer again with a different story. So we collaborated a heck of a lot just to make sure we had the right story. But after that initial conversation with the buyer, I then just left it all in Ethan's hands. And if there were any questions that came up, he just came back to me. I went back to him. He went back to the buyer. So I always worked through him just so that it was all one page and didn't get sidetracked or confused or anything like that. 